High Divine Feminines, Divine Feminines, you would not believe. I record this reading twice. The video just vanish, vanish, disappear. Just like that, Divine Feminine, twice. So this is my third time doing it again now, okay? I don't know what happened to the video. It just vanished. But I bet you, once I'm done doing this video, that video is going to show up. Watch. So that's someone's doing magic. Someone don't want me to get the video out. Someone don't want me to say something, speak up on something. Okay? That they hiding. But I still have the cars. Okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. I still have the cards. I still have everything in order. Okay. So the first card, <clears throat> excuse me, the first card I got was the Nine of Swords. That's Gemini card. Well, this could be any sign, Divine Feminine. So you can be a Divine Feminine Gemini or a Divine Feminine any sign. But Divine Feminine, I see you're stressing, you're pressing, you're worrying over something, over a situation, over a person. You've been up all night, sleepless night, can't sleep, having anxiety, stressing, worrying, waiting on someone. Is that person going to ever, ever come and see you? Are you ever, ever going to meet your soulmate? Are you ever, ever going to have a relationship with someone? Are you going to be alone for the rest of your life, Divine Feminine? That's what you're thinking. That's what you're feeling. This person is making you feel this way. This person wants you to feel this way because this person don't want you to move on. Okay, Divine Feminine? I finna get rid to it. Okay, and it's going to shock the hell out of you. What I'm about to say. But Divine Feminine, you've been waiting on this person for a long time. This person hasn't showed up at all or whatsoever. Okay? This person... Could be a Virgo or it could be any sign. I have a Knight of Pentacles. Okay? And this is you, Divine Feminine. You're stressing, you worry about this person up all night. Years, this person been stressing you, hurting you, and been lying to you, manipulating you, brainwashing you, or this is you doing this to yourself. Okay? But this person person is Virgo, Knight of Pentacles, or this can be any sign, like I said. This person is going to a magician, Gemini, Virgo, or this can be any sign. This person is going to pay a practitioner, witch, or warlock, or wizard to do magic on you, okay? Does that make any fucking kind of sense, the bad feminine? This person... Got you on hold, got you stressing and pressing, got you worrying, got you all up in your fucking head. Because you know why? This person, Divine Feminine, you see, is going to a practitioner to do some work on you. You wonder why you're feeling this way. You wonder why you can't sleep. You wonder why you're stressing, pressing, okay, Divine Feminine? You worrying, right? This person been going to a practitioner, a high priest, high priestess to do magic, juju, voo-voo, witchcraft on you. To keep you stuck. To keep you binding. See? The Eight of Swords, Gemini again. Or this could be any sign, divine feminine. This person been doing some deceptive things to you behind your back. This could be a family member, friend, an ex of yours, a van masculine, who whatsoever. But this person has been going to someone to do work on you, to bind you, to keep you stuck, to keep you thrown off your focus, to keep you confused, insecure, to have you all up in your heads, to make you think you're crazy, you're stupid, to make you feel useless, worthless, shitless, hopeless. This is someone trying, this is someone that's very abusive. 
They can be a narcissist, okay? This person is hurting you. This person don't want to commit to you. This person is a trick, all right? This person is for the streets. This person is not for you, Divine Feminine, okay? This person got you all up in your head, got you stuck and confused, got you hooked on phonics on him or who whatsoever, all right, and you wonder why you feel drained and tired, can't think, can't rest. Just give it anyone, they energy, they they sending you negative energy, doing dog magic, witchcraft, juju, love spells, sex magic. They doing all types of shit to you to keep you stuck in traps so you won't move forward with anyone or who whatsoever, divine feminine. That is not love. Okay. Anytime someone has to do witchcraft on you to keep you stuck, to keep you binded to them, that's abusive. That's mentally illness. That's a narcissistic person. Very dangerous. Very dangerous. Okay, if you're feeling like that, that means this this with this person, this person going to a witch or warlock, a practitioner, a light worker, a high priestess to do work on you, magic on you, to make you feel confused. So you won't do shit. So you won't focus on your career, your love life, your mother. This person will want to see, <clears throat> excuse me. Yeah, divine feminine. Yes. So we got the two of swords. You need to make some decisions, Divine Feminine, about your peace, your happiness, your joy, your life, your health, your wealth. Whatever you got going on, whatever you're doing, whoever you with, who whatsoever. If someone's not making you feel happy, worthy, or loved, recognized, appreciated, you don't need them. This is someone's trying to bring you down with a frown. Okay? This person is low vibration. This person is sick. They're trying to keep you trapped and stuck and confused. Manipulation. Brainwashing you. You know what I'm saying? Got you all in your head. You need to move on from this person. Forgive this person. This person hurt at you or did whatsoever to you, forgive. You can't forget, but you got to forgive so you can move forward so God can bless you, so God can bless you with more. All right? God wants you to move on. He wants you to move forward. You can be a chosen one, earth angel, star uh, um, uh empress, the divine feminine. Okay? Yeah, spirit wants you, you need to make up your mind because whatever that's not serving you, divine feminine, that's not making you happy whatsoever, you need to cut the ropes, cut the chain, break it, burn it. Don't be stuck in an abusive relationship. This is abuse, mentally illness, mentally abusive. This is abuse. When someone is not making you happy, that's not love. You don't sit around wait on someone to make a decision for you, to make to tell you when to be happy, when to not to be happy, when, uh-uh, duh. So Jesus, God, your God, the angel, or angel, your ancestral spirit, guys, they want you to let go. They want you to, it's time to move forward because this person is stopping your blessings. They, they're delaying shit for you. They're causing delays. They're trying to cause problems for you. This person don't want you to have new beginnings, okay? This person don't want you to have security and help. Okay, <clears throat> so you have to, you know, let go of that bullshit that got you holding on, holding you back. Okay, these are your new beginnings, security, helping hand from the divine, your spirit guides, your ancestors from above, you know. They're reaching out to you, rewarding you for something that you've been doing good and great. You've been good, you know, you've been awesome. You know what I'm saying? The spirit wants to bless you. Your guys, your spirit guys, they want to reward you. They want you to know that you are gifted. You are divine. All right? You are very gifted. You are very blessed. You know? And you ain't got to put up with that mess. So spirit said you got to let go. Whatever that's been blocking you from your blessings, from, from your career, your goals, you got to drop that zero and get you a casino. 
You know what I'm saying? So Ace of Wands, new beginnings, new ideas, new creations. So this is you. You, 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 you. Your mind is like so powerful. You get downloads from spirits. Your spirit guides are you following your intuition. Your spirit guides you. You you on the roll. You ready to succeed. You all about your career. You all about making things happening for you. You know what I'm saying? Um, you're very gifted. You know. You coming up new out. You coming up with different plans. Good. You know ideas and you know solutions you very creative you very gifted all right you got enemies of five of ones okay this could be a fire sign leo jealous people around you envy of your gifts you know of your success your career you know you got people that's jealous of you divine feminines you know what i'm saying Jealousy, envy, trying to come in between what you got going on in your life, your career, your goals. Someone, they don't like what you do because they can't do what you do. Okay? This is someone trying to stop you from moving forward. Okay? This can be family members or friends, frenemies or enemies or who whatsoever on the workplace. This is someone trying to stop you, block you, shut you down. You know? But Spirit said it's time to let go whatever that's going to serve you. Forgive whoever hurt you. Let it go. You don't have to talk to them anymore. You don't have to, you know what I'm saying? Just forgive. Let them know, hey, I forgive you. You ain't got to let them know you forgive. As long as God know you have forgiven them. Forgive them. You know what I'm saying? So you can move on. So you can be happy. Move forward. So you can accomplish your dreams, your goals, whatever you're trying to succeed in life. You have to let go your burdens as well. So that goes for all of us. Whatever that happened to us, we have to let it go. Because if we carry that negative energy, that pain, that hurt with us, it's going to block all our blessings. It's going to block us for who we supposed to be and who we supposed to be with. You understand what I'm saying? How we expect to help each other. If you're not getting help yourself, if you're not helping yourself, how are you going to help someone else? So Spirit said, whatever that's, that you're holding on to, uh, can't let go, let it go. If it's not helping you, if it's not serving you, you know, well whatsoever, if it's not love, you know, you got to let it go. It's toxic. This is someone wants you to feel like this. Someone wants you to feel hopeless, useless, shitless, and worthless. Someone don't know your worth, baby. Show them the door. You know what I'm saying? But don't wait around for someone to make no decisions for you to tell you when you can be happy. All right, Divine Feminine? Okay. But yeah, uh, we have the Six of Cups. So this is could be you, Divine Feminine, Scorpio, Energy, Scorpio. You can be a Scorpio as well, Divine Feminine. Or you can have a child, a family member, friend. Or this could be you talking about your childhood. You can be talking to your child, your kids, or a family member about how you was raised, how you was, you know, how you grew up, and things like that. Or this could be a child, a family member that you're talking to that that needs to be talked to that that can. That can, you know, sometimes, you know, things happen to, you know, us, you know, everyone. You know, sometimes we can go through things in life and we sometimes we can keep things to ourselves. It can hurt us even more by keeping it to ourselves, by letting it, you know, build and build and build. And we got the tower and next thing you know, things going to be exposing, like blowing up like a volcano. You get mad, you get angry because you kept things bothered inside of you and you don't express it. You keep it inside, you know, because you feel safe by like keeping your feelings to you. And so, and you know, you feel, some people feel embarrassed, you know, about what happened to them or don't feel embarrassed because that's, you know, that's not your fault. Okay. But six of cups is something being revealed, a secret, something about a child. This could be your child, or this could be something that happened to you when you was a child in your childhood life, something that, you know, could happen to you and you kept it a secret, or this could be a child that's keeping secrets from you, divine feminine. It could be your child or a family member or a cousin or something, but secrets being hidden, something's being exposed, something about someone child or lies, secrets, someone's reporting, someone, someone's making up lies, betrayal, deception. Um, something about a child. It can be 
something that your child is hiding from you, divine feminine. I don't want to say hiding, but it's keeping secrets. Someone's keeping secrets from you. It could be your child or a family member or someone. It can be an adult child. It could be a teenager or someone whosoever. But something happened to someone's child or to a child, they scared to tell you. They don't know how to tell you, Divine Feminine. Or this can be you, something that, something that was hidden from you. Like somebody kept a secret from you or a child. Somebody kept something, a secret. It's being exposed. It can be about something that happened to your child or has happened to you as a child. Something very traumatizing. Okay. Be careful of drinking and driving, speeding. Divine feminine, you could be moving to calmer water. You could be moving and getting away. Or this could be a Aquarius that's moving to calmer water. Or someone's coming to visit someone. Someone could be traveling. You could be traveling out of town, divine feminine. Or this can be Aquarius or someone's traveling to see you. Will of fortune, that means you're moving away to bigger and better things in life. So whatever that secret, whatever that was hidden, Divine Feminine, you moving away from it. You packing your shit. You leaving. Something being exposed. Like secret. Something that was hidden could have hurt you. Or um, Also, this could be someone's finding out. Um, your yeah, secrets being exposed the will of fortune someone's coming back from the past it can be a divine masculine or ex of yours a family member a friend but someone's traveling to see you so this could be someone from the past okay like i said you could be ready to travel go out of town you could be moving to come with water divine feminine so um yeah divine feminine this you you having bad dreams and nightmares. You uh like I said, something you've been stuck on, you having a hard time forgiving someone. It's something that's been hurting you, bothering you. You been you know, you kept it in you for so long. Like I said, it could be something about your parents. Maybe you didn't get along with you didn't get along with your parents. Or uh, like I said, something happened to you when you was a child and you having a hard time healing, get over it. You having a hard time forgiving someone that done something to you. Maybe you didn't have your parent in your life or the other parent or something like that. Yeah. Also, divine feminine, you could be manifesting as well. Maybe you could be you could be manifesting good health, good wealth, love, new opportunities, jobs. You know, prosperity in your life as well. You could be moving to a new home, a new residence as well. You could be moving out of town, out of state, or something like that. Like I said, Divine Feminine, someone's doing spell work and you're trying to keep you binding stuck, all right? Also, someone's trying to get you locked up as well, Divine Feminine. I'm keeping it real with you, okay? Um, yeah, Divine Feminine. Money is coming to you too, Divine Feminine. What have you been praying for and asking God and you got an angel, your angels, your ancestors, spirit guides for? Your wish has been granted. Money gives surprises. Whether it has been stolen, taken from you, lawsuit, inheritance, unemployment, self-employment. Um, gifts, like I said, gifts and surprises. The sun, you, you're going to be happy all over again. you happy, probably happy right now. Unexpected pregnancy, a new love, a new relationship coming in your life, Divine Feminine. So like I said, you got a Taurus. Someone wants to help you. This can be authority figure, King, uh, King of Pentacles, a Taurus. Someone wants to reach out and help you and support you, Divine Feminine. Okay, this can be a case with a coworker, or boss, or judge. Or a, uh, the father of your child or authority figure. Someone 
that, you know, they want to work with you, do business with you, invest in you. We have, look, the Hierophant. Okay. Also, I see marriage. Someone wants to marry you, propose to you as well. Okay. Someone see that you've been going through something. You've been through some separation and divorce. Okay. Some legal situation. All right. If someone wants to reach out and help you, Divine Feminine, like I said, this lawsuit could be by child support payment or win a lottery win, Divine Feminine. Yeah, the tower as well, happiness, new love, bright future, new opportunities, okay? Yeah, Divine Feminine. So, in the bottom of the card, you have the Six of Pentacles. So, this is you getting help, support, assisting. Money can be coming in for your raise in salary or whatsoever, Divine Feminine. All right, the family, the bad family. This is y'all reading. I finally got y'all reading together because it kept disappearing twice. So this is the third time I had to record it. So divine feminine, I hope all is well with you guys. This is y'all reading divine feminine. It's not a bad reading, okay? But you guys stay blessed and be blessed and smooches.